Welcome back to Crazy Town of B-Focus. It's your gentleman, A.V. B over here. Anyway, so today I bring you a conversation, or a talk rather, around electric cars and my concerns around them. Yeah, and they are many. All right, so electric cars in South Africa have been around for the past decade, right, or two or more. But today I just want us to really narrow down on one of the reasons why electric cars just aren't gonna work in South Africa for the next, say, three, five, 10, 20, or even 50 years to come. This is a bit shocking, I understand, but you have to understand one of the two things that if you're gonna bring in a product to any market, you gotta look at two things, risk versus benefit. With electric cars, unfortunately, the risks outweigh by far the benefits that we're getting out of electric cars. So you have risks all the way up here, and you get the benefit all the way down there. In fact, maybe even out of frame. There we go. South Africans are very brand oriented, meaning if you introduce a certain brand in the market, it's like, and it sticks, it's likely to stick for long, long periods of time. So it's not a very fluid market or economy in terms of us adopting new technologies. We usually just prefer using what we've been using for the past 20 years, 60 years. So we're not very progressive. Well, we are progressive, but if your brand does well, if you, br if you build your brand well enough for the market to adopt it, assimilate it, understand it, know exactly how it works, and it puts them at a high status in society, then you sort of capture the sciatic market, but it doesn't end there, of course. In, in any case, I'll give you one of the big four automotive com uh, com uh, companies we got in this country. One, we got BMW dominating the market right now. We've got Mercedes Benz, we've got Volvo, we've got, oh yeah, Kia, we've got the little ones now dominating the market as well. Kia, Suzuki, Japanese, Toyota, you know, the list goes on. But those are the common brand, car brands you're gonna hear around and about you. But when it comes to electric cars, there's really a few, even out of the most popular brands, car brands in South Africa that are really, you know, giving us electric cars in this country. And one of them is BMW. They've not been doing well in the market at all. Let me first tell you about some of the issues, some of the long standing issues that South Africa is faced with right now. One, we've got infrastructure issues. We can't get started with electric cars or even adopting the idea of electric cars and having them as a form of permanent transportation around, in and around cities, as well as traveling back to the boondoos or back to the rural areas for those of us who are from the rural, uh, rural, uh, rural areas. We got infrastructure issues. Number two, we've got power issues. When I say power, I mean the means of us generating power. Right now you can see there's lights behind me, right over there actually. But these lights, if I can tell you right now, <laughs> they are temporarily on, meaning if the government decided they could just switch that power off anytime. Not because they want to, because they're forced to, because of the circumstances. Apparently, we're running short off power or coal or whatever, even though we're the largest producing coal country in this entire world. 63% of China's power source is actually made out of coal. Um, and we're the largest coal exports in this entire world. Duh. Anyways, I don't wanna to get to the politics of it, folks, right? But I am gonna just leave it for you to nibble on. The third issue we're faced with in adopting electric cars right now is really nobody knows about them. Like, just straight up, nobody knows what EVs are. They don't know. 60% of the people you might ask on the road know what an electric car is, right? Okay, yeah, it's a car that runs on electricity, no fuel, and you know, a couple of modules have been taken out of it. The fourth issue is actually crime. Yes, it is crime. This issue is actually super pertinent because you can't understand why EVs aren't working in SA without understanding our socioeconomic dynamics. I saw a guy posting in the United States actually just recently, not too long ago, he posted a video about his Tesla charging and the fact that you can't lock the, the car, your, your, your car doors while your EV is charging outside. So if you're sitting inside your car, is you got the EV charger stuck, stuck in, on the side of your car, you're sitting inside the car, a robber approaches you with a gun in their hand asking you to give them your car, your money, your wallet, and maybe transfer all your funds over to them. You don't know. But Tesla didn't have, now of course this is now a company problem. Tesla, but we know Tesla is the biggest EV, well they're not the biggest EV manufacturer anymore, right? There's other, there's BYD now. BYD, they're, the Chinese are doing very well folks, but we've got safety concerns around EVs and if a company like Tesla had such a major, major flaw in their in one of their cars, 
But that leaves little room for people like, you know, people who live in South Africa to sort of like adopt any Tesla. I saw a Tesla not too long ago, driving on the streets off Midran right here in Waterfall City where I live. Uh, yeah, it, I mean, it got me excited just for a little while. The fifth reason is really because of pricing. Well, right now, again, remember what I said in the beginning? You gotta look at the risk versus cost. Uh, sorry, the risk versus benefit. In this case, or do a cost benefit or risk benefit analysis. Either way, you're checkmated over here, guys. We've got EVs just period not working, given the South African context. It's something to be worried about. I don't think EVs will be working in South Africa as well as they should in the next 50 years or 20 years, unless we mitigate all of these five things that I just mentioned now. It's possible to mitigate some of them. The sixth thing really is just skill, or rather, the resources that you need to get an EV company built from the ground up and have it as something that the market can consume or that consumers can receive and adopt permanently. We do have a couple of electric cars, by the way, in SA. Um, I'll, I'll mention a few right now. We've got Mazbuka Motors. They've, they've, they're, they're producing an SUV, a fully, elect, a fully electric SUVs. It's not something that's uh, projected to be happening anytime soon. <laughs> Last time I checked, actually, hang on one minute. I just need to Google these guys real quick, hang on. So I just Googled up in Mazabuka Motors, by the way, you guys, but I'm gonna do a proper full cover on what these guys really, really do at Mazabuka Motors. It's an African brand. It's an African car brand, and I think they're doing an excellent job. It's just, most of this car looks like the Rivian. I, and every Raven is American, of course, and I've covered, I've given a high level overview of what they really do over at Mazubika Motors. But right now, they seem to not have launched their car yet. We haven't seen any prototypes still, and it's three years down the line already. So there's a little too slow development happening in the EV space right now in South Africa. South Africa is one of the most unequal countries in this entire world. Yeah, that disparity between poor and rich is quite large. Uh, this could be a factor. It might affect third parties to this goal of having EVs produced in-house right here in SA and having them exported to other countries as well. But I think manufacturing EVs for South, in South Africa for South Africans is an excellent idea. This is the Mazibuka motor or Mazibuka car. Um, yeah, it looks like a Rivian, believe me you. When I say it looks like a Rivian, yeah, I mean it. But yeah, I don't know, maybe this was just a proof of concept that they were building over here. Maybe the prototypes are gonna look vastly different from this, but so far from what I've seen, we just keep copying from the Westerners or rather Americans or the British or the Chinese. Um, and really that's how you build a good product really. You benchmark the guys who've done it successfully and then you break it down to something that's usable for you or relevant to you, for you, for your own benefit. But again, currently risk versus benefit, it's not looking good. It's not looking good for the EV market. But just to close out this video on a positive note though, let me mention this. The EV market is projected to grow in about at a rate of 16.3%. This is uh, data from Statista uh, till for the next three years, uh, four years, sorry, or five years rather, uh, all the way up to 2028. Um, I don't know, it looks like it's gonna be a billion dollar industry in South Africa right now, but uh, guys, EVs, electric cars are expensive guys in SA. Let me just tell you guys, like straight up, they're just super expensive. I don't know who's gonna be going out there buying a million rand uh, electric car when they could just use that money for a house or apartments or I don't know, something else more tangible. Electric cars are tangible, but right now they're not quite reachable or feasible for your normal average person like myself. Yeah, I thought I should just share that little bit of information for you to consume. EVs in SA have sort of not even been, been, been introduced, in my opinion. I don't think there's anybody out there who's talking about EVs. We don't talk about them enough. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm literally making this video right now for people to at least consume and know that there's such a thing as an electric car for you to drive around. Well, right now EVs are just intercity cars. Let's just be frank, like they're, they're, they're city cars. Nobody's manufacturing an EV that's gonna take you from Johannesburg 
all the way down to Cape Town. That's like an entire 15 hour drive right there. Uh, yeah, no EV's got that much range or, 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 or endurance either, so. Yeah guys, let's see how it develops over time. Let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are about EVs, especially in the African context or more specifically in the South African context or how EVs have worked for your country where you're from. Let us know and maybe you could adopt and you know apply some of the, and apply or implement some of those principles over into our landscape. All right, until next time, I've been AVP. Ciao, ciao.